Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Stop. Today I'm going to be talking about my Verizon uh, Fios DMARC or ONT box that is on the exterior of my home. I'm doing a voiceover just for the windy conditions that are outside. Mine has a plate that is missing that separates the customer uh, side from the telco side, but I have gone ahead and um, undone the nut on the telco side already. And using that, um, the tool that's on the top of the box, the Klein Tools 11-in-1, it has nut drivers and different attachments. It's already open, so I can go ahead and open the panel and show you exactly what's inside of this thing. So we see all the connections um, right off the bat, and then the Verizon ONT box, and that is the basic setup that you'll find in um, most homes with Verizon Fios. Starting from the bottom, we have our coaxial out, our ground, our two telephone cables, our CAT6, which goes to our router, our power, and then our fiber. Um, behind the ONT box, which I'm about to take out, is a spool of that pigtail, the um, fiber pigtail that goes into a coupler, which then goes to the outdoor rated cable. The yellow cable is just the, your standard OFNR, um, optical fiber not rated cable. And the setup is very simple and this is very standard if you are in the um, higher range of plans with Fios, um, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. I do have gigabit um, service from them and that is gigabit overall. So that doesn't mean gigabit to every single device. And I'll do a speed test on my computer right here and show you a screenshot in a few minutes. But for right now, let's go ahead and do a still and show you each of the individual um, components in this. So here is a still from the video that I took. And starting from the bottom, as I've already mentioned, we have our coaxial cable, which then goes over to my, um, it was previously a Cox communications box, but it goes into the splitter, which feeds the rest of my house. So all the cable connections still come from this box. And actually there is a cable line going to my router because um, Verizon Fios uh, set-top boxes still use um, that router to get its on-demand guide and um, other system information. So it still needs uh, contact, the router still needs contact over a coaxial cable. But then right above that, the green um, solid cable is just the, the ground cable and that goes into a, a little ground coupler um, and hooks on to the metal piping for the um, uh, the meter that's on the left side of the box. So the uh, steel pipe that goes into the ground and grounds off of that on another uh, ground bracket for other things. Uh, right above that is two telephone line outs that go over to the connection panel over there. I'm not sure exactly what that would be called. Um, it's like a patch panel in a way, but um, the Fios people who set up this I just took a CAT6 cable and then used uh, the blue and white strands um, for uh, the first line. There is no second line in this uh, setup, so I'm only using line one. And that cable feeds my uh, original telephone box, which is over to the right, and which has the two lines going into my house. One um, was a line two, but now it's just its own you know, separate line. And then the rest are daisy chained. Um, that's how they usually did it in older houses anyway, and I only have four other lines. So the rest are daisy chained, and then I have one separate line. Moving up from that is the CAT6 line, which was run to uh, my router. Now, when you pay for gigabit service, you cannot um, get that full um, capability or at least have it stable over a distance over a coaxial cable. So instead, uh, at the ONT, they run a CAT6 cable from here to the uh, port of your router. Um, and I usually range around, if no, no other device is using um, any data on the network, I usually range around 950 megs a second, which is pretty good um, and close enough for me for, for gigabit. And right above that is the power connection. The power connection comes from a, a battery box inside of my home, um, which plugs into your normal 110 volts and is supposed to take a 12 volt gel cell so that in the event that there was a power outage, the ONT would still have enough power to um, provide a service to the phone lines. However, that battery is not in the box because we don't even use the phone line that we have. It's just included with the service um, package that we have. So if we got rid of it, it would be more expensive actually. So right now it just gets its power from there and then that box feeds um, power to the ONT. And then right above that, we just have our standard OF in our cable with SC connectors on the ONT side and then a uh, coupler down below the ONT for the outdoor rated fiber cable, um, which goes back to the Fios box, which is um, basically right outside my home. It's, it's very close. That's basically the setup that you'll find in most Fios systems. However, if you do not pay for gigabit, 
Um, most setups will actually just have a, uh, there will be no cat six out. That port will be turned off on the ONT and you will just have a coaxial cable going into your router. And that can still provide pretty good service, but you won't be able to get the gigabit speeds. And um, gigabit speeds are only applicable over wired connections anyway. You don't, um, with especially the equipment they provide you, you don't get anywhere close to gigabit service on wireless connections. Overall, this box is kind of messy in a way. I, I don't like how they um, just threw everything in there and especially on the other box inside the battery box, they didn't take much care with how they mounted it and left a couple holes in the wall. Um, but I can fix all that and um, this is Verizon's side of things. And then once their um, router, um, past their router is everything that I have set up on my own end. Um, I haven't seen too many videos about this on YouTube, so if anybody was wondering what's inside a Fios box, this is it. It's pretty simple. Um, basically, not, not too complicated at all, so that's why it doesn't take them too long to install this. The biggest problem for them is just getting their fiber connection to the home, and then they can cut out whatever the old service provider who was just using more than likely a standard cable or telephone line um, in, and everything for them runs over fiber, which is much faster. Um, we're using multi-mode into the ONT from their connection and past the, their connection. I don't know what they use if they use single mode um, and several several connections. I don't know exactly how they network it together. If somebody works for Verizon or knows more about that, please post it in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. And here is the speed test.